This is part 39 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to execute even handler of an element only once. Let's understand this with an example. Look at the jQuery code here. This code associates a click event handler with this button with ID btn. And to do that, we're using on function. So every time we click this button, we get this alert saying button clicked. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have a button with ID btn within our jQuery ready function. Let's find the button by ID and then let's use the on function to associate click event handler. So when click event is triggered on the button, this is the function that we want to call and we want this function to display a JavaScript alert saying button clicked. So let's save the changes, reload this page and look at this. Every time we click the button, we get the alert, right? Now what we want to do is we want this click event handler code to be executed only once. To achieve that, we have to remove the click event handler on first execution. So when we click the button, what happens? This is the anonymous function that gets called. It displays the JavaScript alert. And then immediately after that, we want to remove the click event handler. To remove the click event handler, we can use off function. And to call the off function, we have to first find this button. So let's use this keyword to find the button and then call the off function. And to this function, we need to specify the name of the event that we want to remove. In this case, it's going to be click. So what's going to happen here? When we click the button first time, this anonymous function is called. It's going to display the JavaScript alert. And then you know it immediately removes the click event handler. So subsequently, when you click the button, nothing is going to happen. So let's look at this in action. Let's save the changes. Let's reload this page and look at this. First time when we click the button, it displays the alert. I click OK. Then it should have immediately removed the click event handler as well. So subsequently, when we click the button, look at this, nothing happens. So to achieve that, we're using two functions, on and off. Now instead of using these two functions, we can use another function in jQuery called one. The purpose of this function is exactly the same thing. It will ensure that this click event handler is executed only once. So instead of using on and off like this, I can use one function and get rid of this call to off function. So this is equivalent to using on and off. So let's save the changes, reload this page. And look at this. First time when we click the button, we get the alert. It should have removed the click event handler. Now when I click the button, nothing happens. Right. So if you look at this example, at the moment, we only have one event. Now let's look at an example of where we have multiple events. Let's associate these three events, that is mouse over, mouse out, and click with the button. So let's flip to Visual Studio. First, let's see how to do that using on function. So we're going to use on function and associate three events, mouse over, mouse out, and click. And to do that, I'm going to make use of JSON object. And the first event that we want to associate is mouse over. When that event is raised, we want to call an anonymous function. And what do we want to do on mouse over? We want to change the background color of the button to yellow. So I'm going to use this to refer to the button. Let's use CSS function. And the property that we want to change is background color. And we want to change the background color to yellow, right? So at the moment, we only have one event. Let's associate mouse out next. So put a comma. And then the other event is going to be mouse out. And when that event occurs, we want to call this anonymous function on mouse out. We want to change the background color to white. And finally, we want to associate click event. So on click, we want to call this function. And when click event is triggered, we want to simply display a JavaScript alert saying, button clicked. All right. So at the moment, we're using on function. So let's save the changes and look at this. Every time we mouse over, the background color is changed to yellow. Similarly, every time we mouse out, the background color is changed to white. And when we click the button, we get that alert every time. OK, that's because we are using on function and these event handlers are executed every time those events are triggered. But that's not what we want. We want those event handlers to be executed only once. And to achieve that, we can use on and off functions like how we did it before. So when mouse over event is triggered, change the background color to yellow and then immediately, you know, remove the uh, mouse over event handler. 
and to do that let's use this keyword to refer to the button element and let's use off function and then we have to specify the name of the event the name of the event is mouse over we have to do the same thing for all the three events so on mouse out you know change the background color to white and remove the event handler for mouse out and finally do the same thing for the click event right look at this we have to call off function three times so let's save the changes and let's look at this now reload the page look at this on mouse over background color is changed to yellow on mouse out white now when I mouse over again look at that nothing happens on mouse out nothing happens and similarly when we click the button the first time we get the alert when I click the button again notice that nothing happens but to achieve that we are using on and off functions okay instead of that we can use one function like that and since we are using one function we don't have to explicitly remove the event handler so we can get rid of the call to off function so let's save the changes reload this page and look at this first time on mouse over background color changed to yellow on mouse out white and when we click the button we get the alert but nothing happens after that on mouse over on mouse out or when we click okay so here we are using one function so here is that example which we have written you uh, rewritten using one function and now let's look at an example of where we have multiple elements so at the moment we only have one button and that has got an ID of BTN now what if we have let's say two or three buttons like this okay we have three buttons at the moment three buttons cannot have the same ID so let's get rid of this ID attribute for the time being and within our jQuery selector at the moment we are using ID selector instead of that let's use element selector so we want to find all input elements where type equals button okay so what is this code going to do this is going to find all the button elements and then associate mouse over mouse out and click event uh, to all the three buttons okay so now let's save the changes let's reload this page look at that we've got three buttons now and three buttons have got these three events associated okay now how is the behavior going to be now look at this on mouse over of this button background color change it to yellow on mouse out white and when I mouse over again nothing happens now what do you think is going to happen when I mouse over this button um, will the mouse over event handle uh, be executed it will be look at that background color is changed to yellow and on mouse out white similarly the same happens for this similarly when we click the button the first time we get the click event handler I click it again nothing happens when I click this button it executes the code when I click this button executes the code but subsequently when we click these buttons nothing happens so the important point to keep in mind is that this one function executes the event handler at most once per element per event type so in this example click mouse over and mouse out events are executed at most once for each button element here we have two buttons but in our example we have used three buttons Thank you for listening and have a great day.